Hi, I'm Joni from OneDishKitchen.com, your number one source for single serving recipes. And this strawberry shortcake recipe is the perfect size to satisfy a sweet tooth. One homemade buttery shortcake biscuit sliced in half and filled with sweet sliced strawberries and fresh whipped cream, ready in minutes. So let me show you how we make it. Heat the oven to 400 degrees. For this recipe you will need a quarter cup of sliced strawberries, a half a cup of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of sugar, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Whisk together the flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt in a small bowl. Cut two tablespoons of butter into the flour mixture using either a pastry blender or your hands until the mixture resembles coarse crumbs. Pour in two tablespoons of milk. and stir until combined. Spoon onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or silpat and shape into a circle. Bake for 12 to 15 minutes or until the top is golden. Meanwhile, make the whipped cream if you are making it yourself. Remove from the oven and cool for 10 minutes. So while the biscuit is cooling, we're going to make the whipped cream. Now you can make your own or you can purchase a brand from the grocery. It's just so easy to make. I'll show you how to make your own. I put in about a quarter of a cup of heavy cream into a bowl and here you control the sweetness. One to two tablespoons of sugar. I'm just going to do one and then we whip it together. Whisk just until the cream reaches soft peaks, about two minutes. So you see how quickly the cream thickens? Now you can use heavy cream or heavy whipping cream. This won't work with milk. You need a higher fat that you can find in heavy cream or heavy whipping cream. And that's it. Slice the biscuit in half, spoon sliced strawberries on the bottom half, and top with the whipped cream. Top with the remaining biscuit half. Here are a few expert tips. Be sure to use cold ingredients. The secret to making a perfect shortcake is to start with cold ingredients. Make sure your butter and milk are cold. Just like making pastry, the fat has to be cold. If the butter gets warm, it melts and mixes into the flour. Don't overwork the dough. Once you add in the milk, stir the dough very little to combine. Handle the dough as little as possible. Overmixing the dough will lead to shortcake that is chewy instead of light and flaky. Measure the flour correctly. Flour measurements can be a huge variable when it comes to baking. Weighing ingredients is by far the most accurate but it isn't done much in the U.S. If you use measuring cups to measure, use this method of measuring the flour. Use a spoon to first fluff the flour in the container. Then use a spoon to scoop the flour into the measuring cup. Use a knife or other straight-edged utensil to level the flour across the measuring cup. 
There's something so satisfying about a recipe that you can make quickly, one that uses simple ingredients that are likely to be in your pantry and can be made with the freshest fruits of the season. This strawberry shortcake recipe is the perfect example. It's an easy dessert that you can enjoy soon after you decide to make it. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow, like, and subscribe to see all of our recipe videos. Also, please visit OneDishKitchen.com where we have hundreds of single-serving recipes. At One Dish Kitchen, cooking for one is all we do. Bye for now.